When Governor Steve Bullock addressed the Zero Suicide Conference in Helena this fall, he said he often feels like the consoler in chief since he has attended so many funerals of people who've chosen to end their own lives. Many of them were young Native Americans. Tonight I go on special assignment to hear what it's going to take to save lives on our state's reservations. Scroll through Josiah Nichols' Facebook page and you'll see a teenager who loves his family, has a great head of hair, is a basketball player for Two Eagle River School, a talented native singer, and someone who has scores of friends. Many of those friends filled the hallways of the hospital the night Josiah decided to die by suicide. I don't know exactly what happened that day. I just remember my phone call, getting my phone call. And I was crying and I was shaking. He was his face, so I tried to call him. His phone just rang and rang and rang. A week before his death, he posted this on Facebook. They were words of despair. They were followed by words of love and support from his friends, but it did not change what was about to happen. My baby was laying there. My heart. I could feel it shattered all I wanted. It was my baby. I just wanted him to open his eyes. Josiah was just 16 years old. His death was one of 20 confirmed suicides in the Mission Valley community since last November. There's no statistic pointing to how many were attempted. Montana's Native Americans have the highest rate of suicide in a state that already has one of the highest rates in the country. I'm in part haunted by what you're here to work on. Last month, Governor Steve Bullock launched the Zero Suicide Academy. It's a major component of a statewide plan to reduce suicides. The goal here is to share ideas that people can take back and put to use in their own communities to examine what's happening on their own reservations. There are no easy answers, but the conversation is well underway. Suicide isn't something that you can address and it's going to go away. It's a symptom of much bigger issues. And so what we want to think about is what else do we need to do? Who do we need to pull together? What have other tribes done that have helped them address this as a key issue of wellness across Indian country? Suicide is also a topic that's now talked about openly in schools because it has to be. We've taken an open stance as far as it's not something that should be pushed behind or not talked about when somebody comes up um, or has a, uh, questions or it comes up in class. It's something that we have agreed as a staff to discuss or maybe not there um, at a different time with, with those students. It's an issue that affects young people deeply as they watch their peers and friends struggle. Many believe suicide has become a bigger issue than bullying. After several suicides in the Mission Valley last spring, the student leaders of St. Ignatius High School went to their teachers and said they want training to know what to do if they have a classmate in crisis because they know often a young person contemplating suicide will reach out to their peers before their parents. It'd be nice to know what to do in that situation. So that's why we want like the leaders in our groups to be trained in something so that way when their friends do reach out or people do reach out to them, they do know how to handle it the right way. There's no one reason why someone might choose to end their life. For Native Americans, tribal leaders say the answer to their pain cannot be suicide. That pain needs a voice. While this is a really sad time for us, um, it is also an opportunity for us to really put a mark in the sand and do business differently. We are really saying that we need to figure out a different way of addressing our issues, issues that have gone back for generations. Sherry often reads the note her son left behind, searching for answers that just aren't there. She can still see his face in photos, hear his voice singing back at her on an iPad, but it's not the same. I don't get to see him anymore. I still wait up for him, and I know he's not going to come home. 
Josiah was loved by so many. His friends and family often leave him messages on his Facebook page. If you are in crisis, there is a number you can text 741-741. Type in MT for Montana. It's a free 24-7 text line and someone will help you.